Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel and squeaked through its funnel and wouldn't come out again. engine's name is Henry. His driver and fireman argued with him, but he would not move. The rain will spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes, he said. The conductor blew his whistle till he had no more breath and waved his flag till his arms ached. But Henry still stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. I'm not going to spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes for you. Then along came Sir Topham Hatt, the man in charge of all the engines on the island of Sodor. We will pull you out, said Sir Topham Hatt, but Henry only blew steam at him. Everyone pulled except Sir Topham Hatt, because, <laughs> he said, my doctor has forbidden me to pull. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. Then they tried pushing from the other end. Sir Topham Hatt said, one, two, three, push! <laughs> But he didn't help. <coughs> My doctor has forbidden me to push, he said. They pushed and pushed and pushed, but still Henry stayed in the tunnel. At last Thomas came along. The conductor waved his red flag and stopped him. Everyone argued with Henry. Look, it has stopped raining, they said. Yes, but it will begin again soon, said Henry. And what would become of my green paint with red stripes then? Thomas pushed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. Eventually, even Sir Topham Hatt gave up. We shall take away your rails, he said, and leave you here until you're ready to come out of the tunnel. They took up the old rails and built a wall in front of Henry, so that other engines wouldn't bump into him. Henry could do was to watch the trains pushing through the other tunnel. He was very sad because he thought no one would ever see his lovely green paint with red stripes again. As time went on, Edward and Gordon would often pass by. Edward would say, Hello. And Gordon would say, Boop, boop, boop. Serves you right. Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out. Sudden death from the tunnel had spoiled his lovely green paint and red stripes anyway. How long do you think Henry will stay in the tunnel before he overcomes his fear of the rain and then decides to journey out again? <laughs>